What's up, girls? It's Bree. It's Cece. It's Angela. And you're tuned into For, For the, the girls. girls. Today, we are actually combining two write ins because they are very similar and we're very excited to step away from like the drama and all the dark things we've been talking about. We do like to drama. just some girly. Fun stuff. Say, we love a little we drama. Love a little <laughs> but this is fun. This is different for us. I'm yeah. excited. All right. So I'm going to read both. The first one is from our good sis, Courtney. Hey, um, Courtney. Could you talk about how you manage a self-care routine while in a relationship and also as a mother? Um, do you have any weekly suggestions? How can you stay sexy and love on yourself? Things like that. I love your content, and it's always like pulling up to a girls' night out, and I'm here for it. Love Thank it. you. That's the goal. Yes. Like, side note, didn't we, like, decide this because of our girl meetups? Like, when yeah. this video. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Courtney. <laughs> and the second one that we combined with it is from Sonia. Can you please discuss your girly favorites, perfume? Perfumes, body care, clothing, shoe, bag, favorites, etc. I think a lot, a lot of women can benefit from the sharing of information related to all things feminine, personal care. We got y'all. Love, love it. Let's get into this I'm one. Excited. <laughs> I love stuff like this. All right, so let's talk about our individual self care routines okay. and tips first. Who wants to go? You want to go first? See, I can start. Okay. Yeah. So you know, it's. For me, my self-care has evolved tremendously over the years, um, especially since I've had my daughter. Mm -hmm. um, in the beginning, after I had my daughter, it was non-existent um, because it, I was completely dedicated to trying to keep her alive. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it goes. <laughs> That's how it goes. So, um, so I didn't have one. And, and you know, so, so for me, it's like it's still evolving now because, you know, my, my daughter's not even two yet. Um, but now that I'm in a, a space where I feel like myself again, uh, I'll talk about how I got there, how I got back yeah, to feeling like one. like myself again. Um, for for me, it was a number of d different things. Um, the first one was my weight. Um, I after my daughter, you know, just like mo most women, I had a lot of baby weight, and I wasn't used to that. I've always been a thicker girl. Um, so like that wasn't anything out of the norm for me, but like I had a belly, like I had all this like extra fat and I had a belly. It was, it was not, I didn't feel sexy. Um, I was 40 something pounds heavier than, than what I, what Were I, you? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. than what I normally was. And, and the crazy thing is I didn't actually gain majority of the weight until after Really? I had a baby. Yeah. When I, when, when Capri was like in her like infancy, um, I was on the couch a lot cause I, mm. it was still COVID. So I was on the couch, I was breastfeeding, I was eating. Like it was just, I gained a lot of weight after, after Capri came. Um, uh -huh. and so, um, I did a number of things. I'm going to be very frank about it. Um, I got liposuction. Um, and I did that for me. I, I, I wanted to feel good about myself again. I wanted to feel good about my body again. I know that's right. So, so I got lipo, um, and I love it. <laughs> I, I was, <laughs> and she I, looks amazing. And, and, and I will, she's the reason why I got it. <laughs> <laughs> but like at the end of the day, like, I'm sorry, I don't mean to take, stop you, yeah. but does your husband love it? Oh, he loves and it. Do you love it? Love it. So. F all love the people it, who got something it, to say about it. it. And also, you know, I'm I'm not ashamed of plastic surgery, like right. like of my plastic surgery. I I also have my titties done, like you know what I'm saying. I I um got my jaw done, but that wasn't plastic surgery. It was actually a medical for for medical reasons. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know, it, it did definitely had cosmetic benefits. You know what I'm Girl, saying? I'm so, so jealous of her jaw. <laughs> <laughs> so so um so that's that's one thing I, I wanted to get back to like feeling like my, myself again so I got lipo for, for me mm -hmm. um and that definitely helped it helped to boost my confidence up I, I now I, I wanted to go back to, to the gym mm -hmm. um and so that that was the one thing and so to keep that up though because you can get fat again even though you get lipo right oh, so, absolutely. So, so 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 to keep that up I started um a new workout like re regimen um and so I love to I get bored with my workouts easily easily so I always look for new exciting things mm -hmm. so I love cycling so I just I started going to cycling classes yes, and, girl. and um luckily I have a fantastic group of sexy fine-ass girlfriends who who it was like so for me it's like 
kind of not not like competition, but like you know, it's like you want to keep up with your girls. Like like if, if my girlfriends are fine as hell and we're out on a on a girls' night, like I don't want to be like like the frumpa lump, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> so can we so, coin that? So so like, up. so like a lot of the girls were going to solid core. So I was like, well, shit, I'm gonna start going to solid core, you know. So then I I, I started to find out like what was working for me, right? So so I I got a good head start with like the lipo and like now I'm keeping it up with my personal workout mm -hmm. routine. Um, so that that's that's important. I think finding something that works for you, right? Like mm -hmm. Brie and I talk, talk about that all the time. She hates cycling. She doesn't like it. She doesn't enjoy it. So so she doesn't do it. She yeah. likes to run. I fucking hate running. You're not going to catch me running. I'm yeah. like, I'm running away I'm from something, you, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, so, so like, that's just not my thing. So like, I think finding <laughs> out what works for you that keeps you healthy and especially for Courtney's, she's a mom. Mm -hmm. And, you know, keeping up with these kids is a lot. Oh, so you need to keep your body healthy. And like when you're when you feel good inside, you perform better outside. You know, and you what I'm always saying? say when you look good, when you look good, good, you feel good. Yeah. You know, so so I think that that's that's one thing I needed to get myself back to it being sexy again. Um, and so you know, getting in the gym, getting all the fat out, that helped me to kind of get back into that. Um, so, so that, that, that's what I do for my, my body wise. Um, but for like self care, as far as like everything else, I'm a curly girl. So to like, to take care of my, like, you know, other aspects of, of my, my physical appearance, um, my routine as far as like taking care of my my curls, I deep co on a weekly basis and I'm very routine about this. Like I don't miss a deep co. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what helped me get like my curls to be like so vibrant and like a nice good spiral and healthy and you know, uh, moisturized. So Ladies, I highly recommend deep coats. I use a deep co from. Is that a deep conditioning? Deep yes. conditioning. Okay. Yeah, deep, deep conditioner. Um, I I use a, a deep co from uh, Miel. Um, oh, I love their product. Love Miel. Mm -hmm. um, and as far as my like, what I actually use to style my hair, I use pattern. Um, oh, Tra Tracy Joan, L um, yeah, Tracy Ellis Ross. Yes, yes. yes. I so said Joan, from girlfriend, <laughs> Joan. <laughs> That's something that I would do. <laughs> I always call people Joan, by their actor their name. Their yeah. actor's name. Okay, okay. So yeah, sorry. so I use pattern to keep to keep the curls popping. I'm gonna try them. Um, CC got me hip to it. Yeah, I'm it's I them. love it. Love it, love it. Um, but as and then like for like staying sexy, I like to dress sexy. That's my style. Um, and so I I also have like a little bit of a shopping habit. Um, Not a little bit. <laughs> it's a whole it's, it's, shopping habit. My I get in trouble sometimes. Like my half of her stuff has tags. Yeah. She yeah. I was on FaceTime with her yesterday and she was like, Oh, I forgot I had this. It's got the tags on. And I'm like, <laughs> not surprised. So I I I like I don't know. I just I like to look good. I'm a little bit vain, so I like to present myself well. I it's just it's just my my thing. Um, and my husband likes it too. I I like it. You know, me looking good gets more attention from my husband. Yeah. And that feels good too. That's that's part of my self care. Like I need to feed my ego. <laughs> so. so, <laughs> so the way I do that is just by keeping my, myself presentable in the way that I feel good. Yeah. Um, now, there are aspects of my self-care routine that I don't, I'm not currently doing that I want to start implementing. Um, and we've talked about it before. Like, Brie has a really good strategy as far as, like, um, when phone. it's time to go to bed, she's, she's completely... Like, Unplugged. she pissed the phone in the, in the bathroom. It's not with her. She's kind of like... Um, disconnected and I need to get better with that because I'm definitely a habitual scroller like around bedtime yeah. um, and that's not healthy uh, and I don't have a good like nighttime routine mm. I'm just kind of like do whatever until I'm like absolutely like dead tired and about to pass out that's not <laughs> healthy <laughs> um, and so I, I want to get better with that and I also want to get back into my spirituality I fell off a little bit, to be honest, and and I know how blessed I am. I know that everything in my life has has been because of God, and and every time that I have been in a bad place, 
um, I have leaned on my spirituality and, and it shouldn't be like a reactive thing, mm -hmm. you know, I, so I really want to get back to being in a good space. I want to get into meditation, um, back into meditation. Um, and I have it, I've, I haven't been doing well with that to be quite frank. So, so, so that's something that I need to work on. Um, that's, that's not really present right now, my self care. So those are like, kind of like my, my, my main things as far as like physical and like how I like, how I just keep myself in a good space. Mm -hmm. And I take lots of breaks, like vacations. Mm. So, um, I don't, I'm like, my, my favorite thing in life is to have fun. And so I, I feed, I have to feed myself with fun. Um, so like for me, lots of vacations and going out with like my girls and having a good beverage is like that. I need that. Having a good beverage <laughs> <laughs> fuels you. Yeah. So I'm but you, agree. You, you have a really, really good yeah. self care. routine. I love talking about yeah. self care because I just, I know there's been times in my life where I neglected my self care. And the difference in the quality of life when you are in a space where you're able to really love yourself and like prioritize having that balance, it's just such a big difference. Yeah. Um, and so now I would say that I've been in a space for like a few years where like I don't, I don't mess up when it comes to my self care. So my self care, the things that I really need and that I love that fuels me and keeps me going and makes me love up on myself is one massages. Mm. I love massages. I try to get a massage every week at minimum. I go bi weekly. Um, and when I say at minimum, it means like if I'm traveling for a week or something, I wouldn't have like a scheduled massage at home. I would just get one while I'm on like vacation or on that trip. But I try to every week schedule a massage um, and or a facial. They're both my like main methods of self-care. Second is getting my hair washed. I love yeah. having my hair washed. So <laughs> I do weekly hair washes right across the street. They literally think it's so funny because I show up like a little puppy dog like I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> they do like the full head massage, neck massage. They, I mean, they give you the full treatment. It is you like a, you get neck massage, girl. So it's it. When I say they're the reason why I was like, oh, I need this weekly because they don't just scrub and wash your hair. They literally massage your head, your temples, even like all from here, like from the middle of your eyebrows. Like they do oh. this. It's like a facial and a neck massage, and they do your arms and your hands Ooh, too. I love that. It oh. is okay. Just to clarify, Can you, do you my just feet get too? your hair washed. It's a hair wash. It's and twenty dollars. Do it. $20? I mean, I'm saying they don't $20. like straighten and blow it. You nope, just I leave with it curly. You just yeah, leave with because curly. I don't like. I, 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 if a lot of people know this. I don't like when people touch my hair, um, except for being washed. So, and it's twenty dollars to get it washed versus like ninety five to get it washed the and blown out. Bang. So yeah. I'm like, um, I'd rather come and spend the same amount that I would spend once a month on or once a week on that one service, and it be something that lasts for the entire month, and I get to come four times. Ooh, so um, I definitely that's do such that. Such a good tip. I know I love it, <laughs> and um, I definitely like for me. CC had mentioned this that. Um, on a regular basis, which is typically once a week, I always make sure that I spend time with friends. So whether it's at, in a group setting or it's one on one, I need that like unwind, you know, just girl time where you can just like connect and, and unplug from everything else. So definitely friends is, is something for sure. The, I think most important thing would probably be time with my husband. I think that if we go a week without spending quality time, it feels like, uh oh, we ain't, what? What happened? Mm -hmm. Where was our date night? Mm -hmm. So at least once a week we do like lunch or dinner or movie night or whatever, something to just, you know, connect and unplug from all the other things that are going on. And then honestly, I don't I wouldn't consider this um, self care. I could only because I feel that it's more of like just a daily routine and it's something that like for me this like needs to happen versus when I think of like self-love self-care it's the things that you add into your routine that just adds to the quality of life so for me working out that is not a form of self-love per se or self-care it's more of like this has to happen because it's a non-negotiable like I refuse to not have my body be healthy so that I can enjoy my life and hopefully a long life so I would just say it's a part of my daily routine. And because I don't love working out, like 
as you know, majority of us probably don't love working out. <laughs> I am very adamant about like the weekend being my break to where it's like Saturday and Sunday. I only will work out if I actually feel like it or if it's something with friends where I'm like, OK, I'll go to a solid core class. But I look at it as a challenge. So on Monday, it's like, girl. If we get to every class this week, come Friday, I really feel like I deserve to enjoy my weekend. Mm -hmm. And so it's more of just something that I think is important to have because as Cece said, when you look good, you feel good. If I go a week without working out, I feel it and I see it. Yeah. And for yep. me, I know that I don't have the the genetic makeup of, you know, somebody who can get away with not working out. And me so too, sis. It, I, I don't again, I don't call it self-love because I don't feel like I'm loving on myself when I do it. I more so feel like it's a goal and it's an accomplishment and it's something that I challenge myself to do. When I think of self-love, I think of more of the things that are relaxing and mm -hmm. easy and enjoyable. Mm -hmm. That is not working out for me. It's not enjoyable. Yeah. It is not enjoyable. I don't yeah. enjoy it. Maybe <laughs> one day, maybe it'll turn into a habit where, where it is enjoyable. No <laughs> I know. And then in terms of um, feeling sexy, because CC went to that, so we can just kind of merge those two, is um, for me, I actually feel the prettiest when I don't have my hair and makeup done. Like when I'm just natural, got my face moisturizer on, my body's oiled up, and I'm in like joggers and like a crop top, and my hair's in a messy bun. That's when I actually feel the prettiest, and it's also when Dre, Dre tells me Dre I'm the prettiest. Dre loves, loves you when you're like that. And yeah. Natural. So I don't, I don't necessarily love the things that I have to get all super dialed up for. I'm more so like the days where like I'm real natural. What I say? Dialed up. Oh Lord. Doll. They say I say dial funny. Dial Doll. dialed up. Dialed up. Dialed. <laughs> dial it up, they say is what I say. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I would say for my sexiness, I am enjoying falling in love with myself in my natural state, which has not been my life in the past. Like I used to not feel pretty unless my hair and makeup was done. So to look in the mirror and feel beautiful with nothing, you know, no makeup, no hair, that for me is self-love. Like I'm like, this feels good. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's, yeah. that's it. We'll get more into like the, the daily routine yeah. stuff, but Angela, how do you... What okay. do you do for self-care? So for me, self-care, I do include working, working out. out with self-care because I do feel very good after. And so the way that looks for me is um, getting up early and doing it mm -hmm. because I have a rule of no screens for the first hour of waking. Mm -hmm. And working out helps that because I keep my phone on D&D &D when I work out. Mm -hmm. So I work and I have to be at work at eight. So Sean wakes me up at <laughs> 5 15 a.m. Oh, oh, good for yes, you. Yes, yes. <laughs> 5 15 a.m. And I work out after I wake up for about 20 minutes. It takes me like 20 minutes to wake up. Yeah, you're, you're waking up at 5 15. <laughs> Angela be sitting on the edge of her bed like no seriously okay. I, I think I reposted a meme where the guy was like this for like 25 minutes I'm like that is literally me I, well except it's me on the toilet like I sit on the toilet like yeah <laughs> <laughs> but once I get down there I get started I feel so good um I don't take pre-workout we just do coffee because pre-workout has a lot of junk in it so the coffee gets me started I love it um and I work out and whether it was a great workout or not it just feels good that I accomplished it so that's part of my self-care routine and and I can it just it really gets my day going another thing that I do um for um you guys know I'm a teacher on my lunch break so I don't eat lunch on my lunch break I eat lunch with my kids at lunch love it Aww. I have conversations with them and talk about our food but for my lunch break, everybody <laughs> talk about our food. How are your green beans looking? How do you but think that, I mean, they that's feel? Part of like yeah. part of having yeah. a discussion with kids. Yeah. We talk yeah. about what you're eating. Yeah. We talk about what's appropriate when you're eating. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Anyways, for my lunch break and all my coworkers know I go missing because I either a take a walk or B, I go to there's like a community center gym. That's a block away. I'll go down there and like get on the stair climber or I won't do anything intense mm -hmm. something to keep it like boost my energy for the rest mm -hmm. of the day because if I sit down in that yeah. classroom or the break room I either find myself snacking yeah or gossiping yeah <laughs> which are both both bad yeah. and 
I'll at least my, you know I'll feel my energy like kind of come down yeah, absolutely. Yeah. and I have a long day because after I'm done teaching I turn into an entrepreneur because yeah. I'm at, I'm doing my aftercare business after that mm -hmm. so that kind of gets me through the rest of the day yeah now when I come home I think Brie mentioned this on a previous episode my husband takes over takes the kid away from me and I have the rest of the evening so what I usually do is I take the dog on a walk and not just for exercise. And it's weird because a lot of people walk with music in there. I don't, I walk with nothing yeah, but my that's thoughts. That's how I like, yeah. yeah. But my thoughts. And it's so, it releases so many like, tangled up thoughts that I have you in my what? brain. I'm gonna start doing that because I'm I, telling I'm so you. so lazy with queso. Queso is my, is my little golden doodle. You don't walk her daily? Uh, no. Uh, we let her, cause we have a huge backyard. So we just like let her go out in the backyard. And like she like runs around. So like she gets her exercise, but like, mm -hmm. no, like I don't really walk queso. And so like, I like evening walks cause I yes. love the stars. And like, yes. I, I live in the suburbs, so there's not a lot of light pollution. So like you can really see the stars. I'm gonna start doing that. No, seriously. Like I just want, I don't put any music in my ear. Yeah. yeah. Like A, to be safe. <laughs> and yeah. B, I just... Like all the thoughts that I have, I have 5 million thoughts going on in my brain. It all like calms down. Yeah. And I think I remember maybe a few months ago, Callie Ray posted something about that. Love I was Callie like, Ray. Oh Wait, my gosh, we I do shout that, out Callie. Callie Ray. Yes, my and it's just it's so, She's my motivation for oh my like life. <laughs> so when she said she does that, or I don't know if she said she does that, but she posted something similar to that. I was like, I'm on the right path. Yeah. yeah. And then like, just that goes into the self-care as a mother thing because- I have communicated, my husband and I have come to an agreement that I need that time mm -hmm. from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. when Alina goes to sleep, there's three hours of me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nobody else, no husband, because my husband comes in at 8. It's me and him time from like 8 to 10. Mm -hmm. But from 5 p.m. to 8, it is just Angela. Mm -hmm. I can go on a walk. I can lay down and stare at the ceiling. <laughs> I can mm -hmm. fumble around and do whatever. That's my self-care as a mother. Those three oh hours. Gosh. You guys, l literally listening to your routines, I'm like, I need to step my shit up. <laughs> oh, wait. So serious? Yeah, I was about to say, we got to jump into the actual routines yes. because... I'm not doing a good job. But that's just, I know she at <laughs> Courtney asked for self-care as a mother that, and it, it wouldn't be possible without Rashawn. So mm -hmm. let's just put that, let's shot him out. Like if he didn't see that I needed that time, he gives it to me. Another thing he gives me Saturday morning, I don't see Alina. She wakes up at 630. So I don't see her and I don't oh. see him. I know that my eyes open at nine <laughs> <laughs> and there's no kid around yeah. me. And I hear I, I smell food downstairs. Uh -huh. That is the most beautiful. I don't have to wake up early. Yeah. I just sit there and I'm like, ah, and then I go to the gym with him on Saturday and he trains me on uh -huh. Saturday. Sunday is a free day. Yeah. Um, I was going to say I'm not a mom, but I always envisioned doing this. And I this is something that was like, I really think that this would be a main way that I continue self-care with myself even when once I like have kids and once you have a lot of them way more difficult but <laughs> yes. like if it's one it's a little girl like I always picture myself like going and getting pedicures that's what I was about to say next like, okay so one thing I, that's my that's my me time but my daughter is my world she's my bff I'm her teacher. I'm literally shaping her brain. Yeah. So I always try to find at least a moment in the week for me and her. So mm -hmm. this week we watched Frozen. Mm -hmm. We had a movie date while daddy took care of some stuff uh, two nights ago. We watched Frozen. I She kept trying to get up and do different things. And I was like, no, I want you to watch this movie with me. We literally watched Frozen. That was the first time we've watched something together. Mm -hmm. We do do pedicures and manicures. She loves that. I know y'all heard me just mm. bribe her with yeah. that yes. um, a few hours ago. She <laughs> loves getting her nails done. Um, another thing that she really, really likes to do is... She knows I'm a teacher. She loves doing homework with me. Aww. So it is so cute. When she, I mean, she takes her homework serious, y'all. Like it is the cutest. So that thing. that's like so super important. That time with Alina, and then my time with my girlfriends. Like Sean has noticed. Like ever since that, I've I've kind of gotten into this friend group that I love to death. He notices like the positivity that comes out. Like I feel more confident. And we've yeah. talked about yeah. that. Yeah. We've talked about just being around like-minded women from different backgrounds, different careers. Yes. It's it's motivational and mm -hmm. inspiring, you know? And
And then like even just to the point of like, maybe I can't spend every week with y'all, but I know I FaceTime y'all mm-hmm. at least once a week to check in on y'all. And that just that's that's self-care for me because A, I'm not talking about work. I'm not talking about Alina necessarily. Mm-hmm. I'm able to talk about things that we relate to yeah. each other on. Mm-hmm. So girl time is important. And then hubby time. Mm-hmm. We have once out of the week where we try to do something together. Mm-hmm. And we work hard on it because we have, we don't have like a, we have a, our sitter kind of flaked out on us the past few weeks. So we really have to work hard to make sure that happens. Mm -hmm. So for example, Sean has like figured out how to get his mom over this weekend so we can go see Ant-Man and he's going to take me to get some food tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So that, that's part. So me time, Lily time, girl time, and hubby time. You That's know, my self care. Time is something that Shane and I used to be really good at, and we've fallen off recently. Um, I and, and now well, you I'm guys got saying, you guys just went to Puerto Rico and stuff, so you guys definitely yes. are intentional. I would say you guys are good at you guys travel a lot, and that usually is like your break. Yeah, it is. It's it's like our like retreat. Right, um, and, and we we travel. At least, y'all look like y'all have fun, girl. Do we? <laughs> oh my god, Shane and the accent in Puerto Rico. Oh my was, god, oh my gosh, <laughs> he's so funny. He's y'all. so funny. I love. Him. I know. I like. Love oh him. my gosh, if you like ever are around Cece and Shane, uh, like we laugh at Cece laughing, laughing at, at Shane. Shane. <laughs> Because it is hilarious. But is also, I wanted to point this out because this is something you both do a really good job at um, is like play dates. Yes. Because yes. play dates give you an opportunity to have your me time with your girls, but also your kids yeah. to have me time with, yes. you know, the kids that they're growing up with. Right. And, you know, I don't have a child, but I am at the play dates. She comes to the play dates. She comes to the play dates. You know, I just like share custody <laughs> at the play dates. Um, but like, I can't wait to have a kid and like be able to do but that. It well, because is. she'll take them to the bathroom like mm-hmm. we're not getting up and down we're mm-hmm. sitting and actually yeah. enjoying our time yeah. so i i lump that all into self-care because yeah. all of that stuff makes me very happy yeah. and you yeah. forget about that right after you have a kid mm-hmm. because your whole focus is on keeping this tiny teeny being alive yeah. and they're so little and fragile mm-hmm. that you're like oh my god i cannot mm-hmm. leave its side mm-hmm. and you lose yourself oh, yeah. you lose yourself because you you don't like how you you look you don't like how you feel you're tired you're all the time. You, you don't like how you are as a wife as a partner yeah. like it's just it's not I wish people more people would talk about what it's like after you have the kid and you know instead of saying you're the mother suck it up <laughs> acknowledging that crap is not easy yeah. so Oof, why you um, think why you think I don't have one still <laughs> right and then I know. so I know we're gonna get more into like skincare and stuff like that yeah. but my skincare routine is important for me because I too. have acne issues so I, mean, I don't have acne issues but like I have skincare. acne issues so I I, I take that very seriously and brushing my teeth and flossing that's a big thing yes i mean of course in your household that's probably very key uh you know <laughs> you you'd be surprised but like i'm not gonna shade my husband right now but i have a better dental care routine than he no. does you know what do. that does not surprise me i do i do. You probably get so tired me. of teeth by the time he gets right? home he's like yeah. uh, I, mean, I have a better dental care routine but yeah the yeah. skincare but yeah, skincare is really important for me like i'm gonna are we my, gonna talk about our products i'm gonna yeah wait sure. okay. can we go into the routine stuff first because oh, yeah, yeah. i think that what i'm about to say will allow us to then go into more detail with that so oh, wait can i add one more thing to yeah. mine as a mother so people probably think i get up and go work out at the gym that's impossible i work out at home oh, yeah, i work out at home yeah. and the way that i do it is we have a tonal um which curates workouts for me so google it, it instagram it. it i'm giving them a free plug right now they it's probably called should the tonal tonal t-o-n-a-l okay it's resistance workout in your house okay. and then we have belt on and mm. so what i usually do is if I can get up on time, a 30 minute tonal workout and then a 30 minute cardio workout. Nice. And they yeah. have a treadmill and a treadmill and free weights and free weights. Yes. Just like and her know. husband's a bodybuilder. <laughs> <laughs> and that and that fun fact. Yeah. But he doesn't do the workout for me. He will wake me up because yeah. he's getting up at 430. Yeah. So he will wake me up. So I'm going to give him his props there. But he does not do the workouts for me, girls. So I you just not imagine a life where I got up at 430 in the morning. No. Yeah. Ooh. You guys, I I mean, even you, Brie, like Brie, Brie goes to you class. You get up at 7 and you go to at 730. At 730. Y'all, I don't open my eyes until like. <laughs> 
like 7.45. <laughs> and, and that's only because Capri is like already up and like, yeah. oh my God. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I let's envision let's getting see. back to that one day. My mom doesn't open her eyes until like 10 a.m. I'm like, Whoa. mommy, what the hell were you doing when we were kids? I love that. <laughs> My mom See, will not get up till 10. I aspire to be like that. I aspire to that shit too. When you wake up earlier though, like you just, you get to live a, there's so a much longer more day. day. Like yeah. there's so much I more agree. to That's do. That's Sean's take on life. But I would love to be I'm, I'm my person. mother and like, go to sleep at later and wake up at 10. I was like, I'm a night person. Like I don't mind working through the evening. Oh. And like I can work like all She's the way night up, up until like 12, 30, 1 yeah. o'clock. And I'm like... But the thing is with that, and that I used to be like that, it's just literally, it's like scientifically and physically, like that is super unhealthy. I know it is. And we're not <laughs> I told made. Y'all, my self care routine is not good. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna get CC to gavel, um, because I don't want my baby out here working till two in the I morning. I know, I know. But um, so that's why I want to go into routines because one thing that I feel I do a very good job of when I work with my clients or whether it's coaching clients or just people in my community is helping people really like scale and streamline their lifestyle by these three simple things. Everybody should always have a morning routine, a night routine, and a nutrition routine. And what I mean by that is when it comes to nutrition, if you don't have any type of routine, that means you're eating whatever, you're eating whenever, and ultimately that is gonna catch up with you. And it's not just food, it's also water intake, and it's also your vitamins and supplements. And everyone's bodies are different. I've learned that for me, I need collagen, I need fish oil, I need probiotic, prebiotic, the other stuff, like even my my multivitamin. Um, But other things aren't as important. When I don't take a probiotic and a prebiotic, my body does not react to food well. I constantly have bloating issues, gas issues. So you have to like really learn your body and figure out what supplements your body needs to function. Tell the people what you take. At its best. And then we'll all talk about what So fish oil, um, that's first and foremost, you can get it anywhere. It doesn't matter what brand. Um, Then the, I I use the um, monthly subscription by Seed, S-E-E-D. It's they have a stunning we are bottle. Lots of I love free, it. Free like plugs I know. in this episode. We're but like... we're trying to help the girls, okay? <laughs> we're not trying to make money. We just trying to help the girls. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but seed is great for the probiotic, prebiotic. Um, my multivitamin, ooh, I don't know who it's by, but it's Amazon. Um, if you go to my Amazon store, you'll see it there. And then for my collagen, same thing, Amazon. Go to my Amazon store under supplements. You'll see all of that information there. Those are the things that I take daily on top of my birth control <laughs> because your girl ain't ready for the kids. I mean, yeah. Um, <laughs> but also, this is something that I do in the morning that really helps my body as well. I do a full glass of water. I put the collagen powder in there because it's non-flavored. I do a, like a shot of apple cider vinegar, a shot of pure ginger root, and a shot of lemon juice. And I just mix it up and drink that and it really like it's it's supposed to like detox and keep like all the nasty stuff out of your gut um so it's good for your immune system as well but it has a very significant taste but because i love mm-hmm. ginger that's why i add the ginger and the lemon because mm, then so it good. takes away from the apple cider vinegar mm-hmm. like you know stingy taste mm-hmm. um but stuff like that is good because our body has so many toxin toxins that need to be flushed out on a daily basis that it doesn't nas- naturally always flush out yeah. on its own yeah. what about you guys for like supplements so for me i take <laughs> cc said ah! i take two fish oils i take two fish oils sean wants me to take three i take two because inflammation is the killer so fish oil helps with that and of course your brain health so i take two fish oils i take a probiotic i want to say it's bio i get all my supplements from vitamin shop so high vitamin vitamin shop please uh support us in the end. <laughs> so anyways i think it's biotonic and then i take the vitamin shop um multivitamin for women's health um and it has like energy in it i take that i also take because i'm old i take glucosamine for my joints and i take um a magnesium with it and a vitamin d to activate the glucosamine. Oh, wait. Okay. So let me say this real quick. Because the reason, <laughs> the reason why I take You're collagen. Well. The, we're going to help CC this episode's for you, boo. 
<laughs> well, you no, your joint, I'm, well, I'm two years older than you. My joints are failing. I do do so collagen. I the do reason, do collagen. but collagen is for your joints too. Yes. Collagen is for hair, nails, yes. and and All joints. Yeah. So that's what I was gonna say is if you're and I was new doing to collagen at one point, collagen is collagen is great. I, I used to put it in my coffee. It but also I do says, collagen for vanity's sake. <laughs> I'm not oh, that's lie. good for She's your like, joints too. Wrinkles, like uh, wrinkles. And the way that I keep it so that it's a routine is I have a pill box Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And I just pack it all up on Sunday, oh, yes. pop open Monday, take it after I eat my oatmeal and Can eggs I come Monday. shadow you guys real, for a real day? Real quick, real quick, guys. This is why I said, when I said a nutrition like routine, like how Angela just mentioned on Sunday, she'll do that. So like there should be certain days of the week that you go to the grocery store and you make certain things and you have your, your certain juices or supplements prepared in a way that makes taking them easy. Because if we didn't have the Monday through, through Sunday, pill things imagine taking all those individual supplements out opening them it's not pouring good, it's it not out feasible. nobody yeah. is going to be able to do that every day that is annoying right. so you right. have to find ways to make doing healthier things yeah be easier. easy and seamless to your routine and speaking of that if you hand and you have the resources or you can figure out how to finagle it in your budget outsource i do not yeah. i sean and i do not grocery shop anymore we do instacart yes mm -hmm. there's an upcharge for that and we are okay with that. We do yeah. apron. We do Instacart. That's the one thing we outsource and cleaning. We have a cleaner who comes by we weekly also have a cleaner. and it makes our life easier. And we figured out how we was, we did not cut that out the budget mm -hmm. this January yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> because those things. You have to protect your sanity. Make, yes. We do our Instacart for Saturday so that it's there Sunday. Sean, because it's not Angela, meal preps everything on Sunday and Wednesday. I'm supposed to do start doing Wednesday or I'm supposed to start doing Sunday. Right, babe? And he does Wednesday. She said, right, and babe. Right, babe. Like, it, it, has, it hasn't gone how it's supposed to be yet, yeah, but he loves okay. me. Yeah. I do the laundry. Yeah. Um, and, and so, yeah. And it's there. And I pack all my meals from Monday through Wednesday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the the hard part is when we have things going on on Sunday mm -hmm. and yep. I get messed up. Yep. But the pill, bo pill box is easy. I just throw everything Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And it sounded like a lot, but they're very small. No, that's I'll put that in my my cart as well for Amazon. And it was six dollars and it's black and white. Yeah. It's really small, but it fits all the pills. Yeah. And the great thing is you you can take that when you travel too because a lot of people travel and then when you get back from traveling you're off your routine yeah. no baby my routine my routine travels with me the skincare the hair care the, the supplements all of that <laughs> because Stop. it has to be a daily a daily <laughs> habit so, um, I just, hold on. so wait for all the ladies out there that don't have this <laughs> these daily habits like myself don't worry sis and also don't don't feel like yeah. oh my god like oh shit like or I'm like I'm not, I'm not doing it added yeah. in I gradually added in those vitamins yeah. because my husband kept saying take this take that take this and I'm like I'm not doing it consistently yeah. if you want me to do it consistently we got to figure out a way yeah. so we, he got me the pill box and I'm doing that consistently after my first meal so I always take it with food that's the thing is the way that you make a new habit work into your your lifestyle is by attaching it to a current habit yeah. so for example every morning we all brush our teeth if you need to this I is what so. I do <laughs> when in my bathroom there my my birth control pill sits on the side of my plant and every night a part of my night routine is that I slide that 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 pill thing out and I actually sit it on the countertop and I have a water bottle that stays there so that means in the morning when I wake up and I stop my alarm on my phone I wash my face I brush my teeth I take take my pill because that's the pill that I take at the very beginning of the day every day my supplements I take while I'm cooking my breakfast so it's like these are routines that happen every day and you just attach a small and easy routine to it and before you know it it's a habit and it doesn't yeah. feel like how Cece over here like whoa yeah. rocket science yeah just like it's just slowly. taking your current routine and just adding slowly. those things to slowly. it yeah no, like which, working out in the morning that took a while for me and I still yeah. mess up with that yeah. and the only way it happens and I, I, will, I will be completely transparent is if Sean nudges me at 5.15. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If he does not nudge me, it's not happening. And then I have to do it in the evening and my routine's thrown off a yeah, little bit. Yeah, I need better routines. <laughs> like, the only routine I have right now is, like, with my daughter. Which um, is perfect. Structure I am, creates. I, yep. am, I am very structured with my, with my daughter because I know it's good for her, but obviously it's good for me too. So I could use a little bit of that in my life. And I, I am very routine with my skincare. Okay, that's, let's get into that. That's it. <laughs> let's get into that. Tell, tell them your products um, and what you do. So I will, I 
uh, will give myself some flowers. I have very beautiful skin. She does. Uh, it's very soft, too. It's, it's very If you cute. ever get the opportunity to rub CC's arm, you're like, whoa. Oh, yeah. So, so okay. It's very so moisturized. I'll, I'll start with, like, overall skincare. You know, what, one thing when I was pregnant, everyone was, all, was, was always like, oh, my God, you don't have any stretch marks. I am religious with my moisturizing. No. <laughs> like that's I, a routine, CC. I moisturize like crazy. Um, so like every single time I, I shower, after I get out of the shower, I am lotioning up every single part of me. And that's how like when, when people are like, oh my God, CC. You use any specific stuff? lotion? Um, you know, uh I, I really I like um a very like a thicker lotion, like um Eucerin. Mm. Um, so like I, I like it very thick. I don't want like no like watery like Jergens. Mm. Like it ain't gonna cut it for me. Um, I want it thick, mm. like almost like 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 a like a cream almost. Mm. I, and I also use um oil, body oil. I was gonna say I use oil. I use body oil. I like body oil. The only thing with body oil is that it gets on your clothes. I know. Um, so like it only works if you're putting on like black. Black. Yeah. So or, or do I do night. body oil right after, like in the shower, but after the shower is off. If you yeah, put it, yeah. you put it on while your you body's actually, still wet. Yeah, that's that's actually a and key. You you should be on, applying. It should mess up your clothes, right? Well, but then you'd have to put no. lotion on. So 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 after, actually, the right? the key to moisturizing yeah, is that okay. you should be damp. So oh. so when you get out of the shower prior to like completely drying off, you should be moisturizing mm. with a little See, bit of water. See, we're learning something from um, you. So, <laughs> they great. Your routine. <laughs> See, you have a routine. Easy talk so, about you. I got a routine. So I'm, I'm very religious when it comes to to moisturizing, uh -huh. um, and so that's that is a non negotiable for me. I do it every single morning and night. Uh -huh. I moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. Um, another thing, so like with my skin, my my facial skin. Um, I my use Kiehl's. <laughs> you use who? My Kiehl's skin. Kiehl's, the Kiehl's. brand Kiehl's. Yeah, I really love Kiehl's. them too. So, and um, I use like five or six different products. Mm. So, um, I wash my my face with like it's a it's a daily exfoliator, like clay exfoliating uh, cleanser. Um, I love it. It it has really transformed my skin. Mm. Um, so I love that. And then after I wash, um, I use two different eye creams. One's an eye, an eye serum, um, and then one is an eye cream. So I do the eye serum first, and then I put the eye cream on top of that. Mm. And then I use, um, I think they're, uh, the main ingredient is probably like vitamin C. Mm. Um, it's, like a, it's, it's also a, a facial serum. And it helps with um, dark dark spots yeah. and like just like evening out of right. uh, this the skin. I have a bad habit of popping my pimples when I get them, so like sometimes that can leave marks. Dark spot, yeah. Um. So like I I use that to just um, even out my skin, and then oh I forgot the toner. After I wash, yes. I do a, I do a toner. I use a I, um. I use a rose petal toner from Fresh. Mm. Um, so, and then, you know, my, my eye cream and then my my serum. And then I do, um, I do a moisturizer. So I have two different moisturizers, one for the day, which has uh, F SPF in it. Um, and then I have a nighttime moisturizer, which is it's specifically like, it's a midnight recovery moisturizer. Mm. It's very thick. This is Fresh? No, this is Kiehl's. Okay, I use Fresh's Midnight yeah. Recovery, so we'll, I'll this tell you is, Yeah, Kiehl's. Yeah. Um, and so I, I use that. And so like, and, and there's also like a Midnight Recovery um, serum too. Oh. So so I like, I'm I'm loving all like the creams and the serums. All and like, it's just honey. Like, I mean, I, if you see your skin, it's I be beautiful. Going. It's I be flawless. Going. It's flawless. Um, and that's my only routine. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's, it's funny because, <laughs> so I, do you remember like I, when I had the IUD, I used to like get a lot of breakouts and stuff and I tried all these different things and I went to like dermatologists and X, Y, and Z. I switched over to a birth control pill and honey, it flawless. changed my life. Yeah, I have had like flawless skin since I switched over to the birth control yes. pills and my Your skincare skin, routine- equate those right to your yeah skin no has i have because a lot. listen I have listen how simple my skincare routine is when i'm in the shower i put the dove body wash exfoliating bar soap on my hands 
put it on my face and then I use this plastic little thing. It's in my Amazon cart. It's like a <laughs> scrubber and I just like scrub my face. You can literally see the dirt being pulled off of the thing, which That's I love because it's white. Okay, yes. And I just like wash it off. Boom. Get out the shower. I take a little cotton, a uh, little circular cotton thing and then spray it with um, some real basic toner. Um, <laughs> it's a uh, witch hazel toner yep. bop, 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 bop. and I just go like that all over same thing it takes off any extra oils dirt whatever boom and then I put on my moisturizer yeah wow. that's, that's all that I do very that's simple. very simple but, but you know what that I love essentials though be, yeah. because because everyone's skincare routine right. is going to be different you have yeah. to tailor it to yours yeah like because this is something about CC. CC has very sensitive skin very. yeah and so all of that stuff that she it 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 takes time to one test products to yes. see how it works on your face and then to know what your skin needs. Some of us have, some of us have oily skin. Some of us have dry skin. And so like, I'm that perfect, like balance of like I'm in the middle, I'm not dry or oily. So I can use a basic moisturizer and be good. But yeah. some people you need additional serums yeah. and you need all these other things. But yeah. Angela yours. Yeah. Yours was quick. I know. Um, <laughs> So I have sensitive skin like Cece and I'm also, I have the IUD, so I do break out, um, which we're noticing. I, I have IUD and I don't break See, out. See, I think it just affects Depends people on differently. Because when I was on the pill, flawless. Flawless skin all three years. Mm. I just didn't do anything really That's but that. Mm -hmm. But with the IUD, um, I do get breakouts, especially around my jawline, um, which is hormonal. Um, anyway, so here's what I do. At night, and I was doing the vitamin C serum, the retinols, all those things. And I was just, it was very sensitive. So Sorry, real quick. Retinol. I do use retinol if I'm going to sleep and I'm like, oh, it looks like I might be getting like a pimple or a bump. Put it on there. Wake up in the morning. Gone. That's the only time I use retinol. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> so at night, I wash with Cetaphil. <laughs> I wash with Cetaphil and it does the job. And then I tone with Caudalie. I've always loved Caudalie's salicylic um, exfoliating um, toner. Then I, um, before I put my serums, I moist, I layer with moisture. So I use snail mucin, which has done my skin some very good justice. Snail mucin? Yes, it is uh, from the Korean um, skincare routine. I is it, it actually from a snail? It's actually from a snail, <laughs> but it's so moisturizing, y'all. And I it's like love sticky. It. Koreans have really mm. good skin. They do. They have like a whole. If you, they have a whole skincare routine, and I, I think I attribute my skin getting better to the snail mucin because mm. I started it like in January, and I, I knock on wood, I haven't had any like crazy like December. My skin was bad, and so um, and it's February now, so I put the snail mucin on, and then I put some retinol. Um, after the snail mucin, I do retinol around my eyes. And then I put on my nighttime moisturizer, which is the Fresh Youth Lotus. Okay. I love that stuff. Yeah. And it's thick and it's, oh, it's awesome. It smells so good. Um, Sean says I smell like lemongrass when I come into the bed. <laughs> um, in the morning, I um, wash with the Cetaphil. <laughs> I tone. And I used to do a vitamin C serum, but that was getting really sensitive for me. So my sister, who is a... Um, top makeup artist in New York, she told yes. me to put the vitamin C powder into my moisturizer, which mm. has helped. Oh. So I took, I take vitamin C powder. I put it in my fresh rose hydrolonic, whatever acid moisturizer. And that doesn't have any SPF in. So I take a cheap SPF and put it on top. Nice. That's my more. And then I twice, do SPF if I'm going to go outside twice a week. I do a mud mask. That I got off Amazon. That was $12. And it's beautiful. And then once a week, I do a clarifying mask, which is the Indian mask, the Indian clay mask from Target. And I mix yeah. that with um, apple cider I vinegar. Like, I was never do masks. So I, oh, I mean, I think it's really important, like, and this is no matter what type of skin you have, to do a facial steam once a week because you don't have to, like, buy a steamer. You can just boil some um, water in a pot and not, like, a 30-minute thing. I'm talking, like, five to ten minutes where you just put a towel over your head and just let the steam all go because it just it opens up all of your pores and actually allows all the gut to come out. Mm -hmm. And you'll see, like, your face will feel like a silky... Like, I don't know. Like, it's just it's so soft. Guys, I want to do and better. What? You have amazing skincare no, routine. I'm not yeah, but I'm talking about, like, overall routine. Life routine. I'm like, I'm like listening so, to you guys. I'm wait, like, okay. So <laughs> let me let me say this because I think it'll help Cece out. And those of you listening, if you're in the same boat, we're like, I don't really I have a routine Um, is 
this is how I go about setting people's individual routines. I ask them what they want their day to look like. Figure out what you want your day to look like. Once you know what you want your day to look like, that determines how your morning should look. And once you know how you want your morning to look, that's, that creates the routine for your night. So for example, if you know you want to wake up and work out in the morning, you need to make sure you're going to sleep at a certain amount of time to mm -hmm. get up when it makes sense for the morning. Mm -hmm. Then you should be setting this, at, we call it re uh, reset the room. So reset the room at the end of the night to set you up for success in the morning. So mm -hmm. for example, for me, if I know that I need to wake up, work out, come home and be able to set up all my food stuff and start working at night. I'll set my computer like I'll set everything near wherever I'm going to be working the next day. I set out my shoes, my socks, my underwear, my sports bra and my my pants and whatever jacket, like literally everything that's going to go on my body. I have a, a space in my closet where I set that out. And then again, you guys know this. My phone goes in the bathroom. So then what happens is when I wake up in the morning because I have to physically get it up and look myself in the mirror to turn my alarm off that's me letting myself know like you didn't put this phone in here for no reason mm -hmm. don't you get back in that bed don't you get, don't you better I I just wash that, your I face get, and get, get going. I get back Once in the bed. Once I get into Unless the closet, that guy is me, I get I'm back going in the bed. But this yeah. is the thing: if you do something so small like I this, know. I'm it, be it changes it Maybe because you're intentional. Phone, like in the hallway bathroom. <laughs> yeah, like be somewhere better. you. But also, like for it. example, you said you have to like have coffee in the morning. Yes. So why not put your coffee cup next to where your phone is, so that what you can do is when you come in the bathroom or when wherever you literally you see the coffee cup that's your reminder that you took this initial initial step to make sure you commit to your routine I'll try it's it. not just enough I'll sometimes to just yeah. do the phone but then it's once not. I go in there and I, I put try. all my stuff on <laughs> I leave I come back and it just once you get up and you do whatever that thing is you feel so good and rewarded in a sense of like I'm so glad I made that choice but a lot of us are simple and you have to make a simple yeah. way for you to just make the things that are hard not feel so hard yeah. mm -hmm. so figure out what you want your day to look like that will create a routine for your morning and then your morning routine will create the routine for your night and then as you get comfortable and you make these small little changes you can always get more aggressive like for me I want to start waking up at 6 a.m to go to the 6 30 class but I'm not going to do that until I gradually go to sleep earlier and gradually wake uh -huh. up earlier. Another really big thing that I feel is a game changer for a morning and night routine is journaling. Mm. And you, what your That's journaling is will look different for you. I want to plug one of my clients right now because I am in love with her journal. The brand is called It Begins With You. Her name on Instagram is... Um, Raven Raven Robinson. And this journal is so perfect because in the morning... It has you list like five things that you're grateful for. Then it has you list out like your top three goals for the day or like things that you know you want to get done or be intentional with. It has you list your affirmations and then your daily mantra. So that sets me, that sets the stage for why I'm getting up and doing everything I want to do. Um, but because my morning routine is so down packed, now I changed my journaling to actually happen right before I start work. Whereas before I had to start with journaling first because it was my reminder of why I needed to get up out the bed. Mm -hmm. And then at night, it has you list like three things that you're super proud of that you did that day or three oh, things cute. that you're you're that. happy or glad that have happened. And then it has like this big open space where you can just kind of like doodle and just put your, your thoughts. What I do with that open space is I get everything out that I feel I got to do or be intentional about the next day because then it leaves my brain. It goes on the paper. And then when I close that book, it's almost like my mind is shutting down and is ready for the nightcap that's awesome and it has been so helpful so if you're someone who feels like you're scatterbrained all the time you should be in the morning and at night <laughs> writing down the things that you want to be intentional with what it does is it stops you from having these outrageous big goals all the time and instead focus on the little baby steps of the things that need to get done to reach that big goal and then it makes all of the little wins that much more exciting you versus plug your client girl okay hold i on. love the, Lady the out there 
Okay, let's do this together. As someone who obviously does not have her life together. Please don't listen to her. Her life is beautiful and <laughs> no, together. No, just kidding. No, my, my life is very beautiful and very charmed and very yeah. blessed. But it could be better. <laughs> not charmed. everybody's could, you know? In some I do live a charmed life. In some space, and I hope that the listeners today are like, ooh, I'm going to try that moisturizer. Yeah, ooh, yeah. I'm going to get that journal. Oh, my God, let's ooh, do it I'm together. I'm going to try that trick. We should all do it together. Do it together. Yeah. Yay. Yes. Yay, girls. <laughs> Okay. I love it. Ooh, that this, was a is good there one. any is there anything else we want to plug or mention? Um, um, if y'all need a personal trainer, hit my husband. Yeah, um, he has great tips. I um, mean, he helped me. He helped me get my life together. He has great tips. Um, you know what? I think I do actually need Sean's help with like my nutrition because I, I uh, Shane and I could do better. He he wrote he wrote my whole nutrition plan. Do I follow it? question mark <laughs> well she just ate the gluten-free mac and cheese that sean told us not, not to, to eat. eat so not to a t <laughs> but but you do good you do you I do, do, try, you do good. try i came in, in here with yogurt last time remember remember yep yeah, yep yeah. you sure did yeah i'm trying to think of, is there any oh oh my god okay oh my god. last thing that i want to plug there is an app called Masterclass, and and there, i mean two things one if you don't want to spend money YouTube University, by all means, I would say at the beginning of each month or at the end of the month, create like a list of all the things that you want to like learn about or um, just like, you know, that you're interested in and go on YouTube and actually search some videos and just save the links like in a document or in your notes. That way, on a, at least a weekly basis, you're learning something or you're, you know, taking time to like watch something that's going to help you versus just like going yeah. to Netflix. And then same mm -hmm. thing for books, like create a list of all the the books that you might want to check out that that year and then say like i'm going to dedicate one month you, you know to each book but masterclass if you are willing to invest it's 189 dollars one time for the year and they have every type of expert you can think on their teaching about things that it's like wow wait i can actually learn from like LeBron James is on there and he teaches like life hacks and like how to take the athlete mentality when it comes to like reaching your goals and things. So people who you would never be able to learn from, you can learn from on this platform. Come and on, it is community. so good. So, I so good. didn't have this I, stuff. They, they didn't. No. I, I will say one, on. one thing that I am very religious about is my audibles mm -hmm. so oh, that was I'm, a good one. I'm not uh much of an actual reader, no reader but, um, but i love to listen to it yes. right so so i do i am really really good about feeding my mind with with uh information that i'm looking to acquire yeah. so 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 I like right now the current audible that I'm reading is faster, smarter, better. And and I'm reading it because um, I'm about to um, not do like a huge career transition, but um, I'm I'm about to level up. I, yes. I, I have leveled up. She and, has. And and so um, and so I but I also know that with this level up, I still have a lot of growth and learning to do so so right so this current book is is helping with a lot of like leadership management um because i'm leading a really large team and so you know how can i effectively lead my team better and also just grow them up empower them make sure that their voice is heard and how can i get them to be more productive mm -hmm. so um so i am really good with that too yeah, I, I promise this is honestly the very last thing I just ah. thought about this. <laughs> Cece mentioned meditation. And for me, meditation has always been super hard. I, Dre actually got it for me for Valentine's Day because I told him how much I wanted it. It's an eye mask from Amazon. It's like a robot eye mask. You like put this machine on. Like an ER? A who? Like say? a virtual reality. Kind like, of. Yeah. Thing. But it's like imagine like a sleeping eye mask. And then on top of it, it's just like this harder part. It massages your temples and around Stop. your eyes and it plays meditation music Ooh, and it that. has Stop. this vibration. Can you send me the link? Yeah, it's in my Amazon yeah, cart. Say it's in your so Amazon store. please go to my Amazon cart. It Ooh. is so dope. So because I have trouble with like meditation, this thing helps me. So before I go to sleep at night or even if I just am having a stressful day, I'll just take a break, go lay down in the bed, put my eye mask on and it just like, it talks to you. It plays the meditation music. It, you can actually hear the sounds of like the air like doing the things oh, and I it just it. really forces you to stop 
and take a breather and like focus on your breath. And uh, I, I really love it. So oh. that's the last thing I want to plug. Are we done now? Girls, this, get your this life. This was our longest this episode. Our longest get your episode. life. Episode. We keep going too. And we could have. I had some other We didn't tips, even talk but... about clothes and shoes right. and all that. Perfumes. We just, Perfumes. We, just, we, we can we do that in gonna, another joint. Yeah, yeah. we're we going to skip that. Do you, do what you do when it comes to that. But um, <laughs> we, will, we will come back with something similar and make sure to plug all of those things as well. Because, you know, this fashionista over here, <laughs> she, I'm sure she has a lot of places for you to shop. I do. I do. I'm basic Amazon. Yeah. And occasionally the the actual in person mall if I have to. <laughs> I have so many good be- like online boutiques. Ooh. So many. So yeah, so. We'll, we'll we'll definitely do something on that. <laughs> but thanks guys for um both was it Sonia and Crystal? Courtney. Yes. Courtney. Courtney. Courtney and Sonia, thanks so much for writing in. Um, hopefully this is helpful. And if you guys have any products and things that you recommend, make sure to comment below and um, plug your favorite product yes. and or brand. Or if you offer something. Or if yeah, you let us you know. Plug it, plug it, plug it. Make sure if you guys want to write in, go to relationshiprestored.com and go to For the Girls and fill out the Help a Girl Out. Um, We are going to be, again, doing the members meetup. So make sure if you are willing to come, comment below. Tell us where you're from, where you would be coming from, and if you are willing to join us. We can't wait. We will have a date soon. Yeah. Have a date soon. Um, Make sure to follow us on Instagram at CC Costin, at Brianna Aponte, at Angela Hanna, and of course, Relationship Restored. Until next time. Bye. Bye.